Hello everybody, my name is William Mitchell and today I'm going to be teaching you how to build a computer. And the only tool you're going to need to do this is a screwdriver like that. And the first thing we're going to install is the motherboard, which is very simple. So I want to make sure you move all these cords out of the way. And then to install the motherboard, you're going to have to set it in to the case. Just drop right in. And then you have to line it up with the screws, which it is. And then you're going to have to get your screws that look like this. There's four. What I'm using four. There's one right there in that corner. One right here. One in that corner right here. Next to the reset and switch or button. And one in this corner. And then you're going to have to screw those in. Try to do it quick as possible. Like that, and the last one falls out. On a good roll. Make sure you do not use the four CPU holes which are on the CPU. Slot, of course. And then the next thing we're going to do is install these LEDs, uh, the power button, which is on this thing right here. And all you got to do is plug in right here to that slot. And should just slide right in. The next is the pop or the reset switch. It's right here. That goes in right here. It's the three um, pro. And the last one is the fan. Which is right here. This little white one goes way back here in the back. Right there. Slides right in. And after we get all that. We're going to install the power supply, and all you got to do for that, again, is just slide it right in. You don't have to screw this in or anything. Like that. Make sure it's all the way through. And then it should just lock in. Keep moving around until it locks in. Mm. Probably didn't hear it, but it did lock in. Usually it makes a little noise. And then the next part is this 20 pin connector, which goes on the only 20 pin connector on the motherboard, which is right under all these wires. Probably can't see it slides right in and then we got this six pin connector which goes right here from um, the CPU power is right here that light port connector this this one is the um, CD drive and this is the hard drive. Why not? I didn't mix it. No, the, yeah, that's right. That way we're not using it. And this little two prong one goes in the little white slot right here. You can see it. That fell asleep. So it just slides right in like that. And the next thing we're going to install is the CPU. Which 
looks like that. I already have thermal paste on it. So you're going to have to open up this thing right here, which you just push down a pole. Like that, and then you lift that. And then make sure you drop it in the right way. Like so. Drop it in, close it. Like that. And after you get that, we're going to install the fan over it. Now the tricky part with the fan, it has these two wires. I like to plug them in first before I screw it in. Like so. Which the two parts are right here, the four pin and the five pin. Right there. These two. And because I can't fit my hand under there, when I do do it, I'll do the five. After I screw it in. If you have a bigger case it shouldn't be a problem, but in this case it's small. So, and then you're going to have to grab your screwdriver, like this, and then, screw it in like this, Get all the screws. The last one is right here. And then, so you're going to want to get all these wires out of the way because the next thing we're going to install is a RAM. It's just one 2 gigabyte stick. And you open this, and it should just drop right in. Like so. And then you gotta push down until you hear that clicking noise like that. And both sides and make sure it's in nice and tight. And that's all you have to do for that. And then you can put this in this little cord holder. I don't think all of them have that. So next we're gonna be doing the DVD drive. Which is right here. And all you gotta do for a DVD drive actually, this one's hard to get in on this case. It takes me a while. I don't know why, it doesn't like to slide in. And there we go. And there it's in. Let me move this back. <laughs> You're going to want to get your SATA cable. This one plugs into the black connector. Right there. And we'll plug it in right there. And then, with that wire want to be in the way. You're going to want to plug it in on the this drive too. Like that. Then you're going to want to get the part from the power supply and plug it into. Get my hand back there and right there. Snap straight in. And you're going to want to move these wires down like that. Okay, so the next part, or the last part also, is the hard drive. And you can see those, these right here, if I can get it in the light. Right here, the big one right there for the SATA cables. You don't want to get your blue or whatever color it is, SATA cable. You're just going to want to connect it into the hard drive slot. It goes this way. And put it into that. I'm putting mine into the blue port. Like 
like so. And then you're going to want to get the long power supply one. And plug it in next to it. And then do this. Yeah. Well, some are different. A lot most uh, cases of those drive bays, which this one doesn't. And there, it snaps right in like that. And so that is all you gotta do to uh, build the computer. The next part will be. Okay, I'm back. And we're gonna be installing Windows 8 Pro. And I have a 64 bit version of it, as you can see, Windows 8 Pro. So. And test out our disk drive. Just put it in. Oh, we're gonna have to shut it off actually. Shut it back on. And should put us in the BIOS. And what you're going to want to do is click onboard or USB CD ROM. And there's the Windows 8 logo. So now we're just going to wait for this to load up. I am probably going to be installing three more gigabytes of RAM or two more, at least two more, into this computer. So we'll let it load up and I will be right back. Okay, literally like five seconds after I shut it off, it loaded. So what we're going to need to do, make sure you have your mouse and keyboard plugged in too, which you probably already... Uh, we're going to use English, time and currency would be English, and US keyboard method. And you're going to want to click next and install now. And the setup is starting. Um, there's the computer, but... I'm going to have to install the product key, which I do not want to see, and so you guys can't use it. Um, so I'll be right back again. So I put in my product key, and now the rest is pretty much just loading, and it probably, I do custom install, so I know what I'm doing. Um, put it on the unallocated space next and it will install and this could take up to an hour probably maybe a couple hours so when it is done I will come back and it is done so I'm gonna pick the color of the um, pick the color you like I will do, I think that's yellow, no that's not yellow, I will do yellow, it looks like orange, I'll do orange then, let's do orange, PC name, I would call it like all my other computers, Willard, and customize, automatically install important updates, Turn on on next. Prove. No. Next. 
username. Um, I'll just do W Mitchell. I'll make my password. I don't think you guys can see it now. It doesn't really matter anyway. And click finish. And it is now finalizing my settings. Said hi while well, we're getting things ready. Check out the new way to use Windows. Oh, it's not focusing. Focus. There we go. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we are done. Um, there's the start, this is the menu. Um, Windows 8 is uh, a lot different from Windows 7. Um, it has this, but if you like Windows 7, but you upgrade anyway, you can just use desktop format. It doesn't have a start button. I think there is a way to get one, I'm not really sure. Um, I've only been using Windows 8 for about a week now, but that is the end of how to build a computer, or my video on how to build a computer and how to install the operating system, so thanks for watching.